Hey guys, we're finally back with our first video of the year and this one's gonna be simple. I'm just gonna be showing you how to create a power-up that essentially blows up all the enemies on screen such as what you see here. So we're literally starting off this year with an explosion. <laughs> all jokes aside, let's get started. So as you can see here, I already have a world or map made and I already have the power up also made, but I am going to be showing you how to do it step by step. So we want to first start off by creating a new scene and we're just going to go ahead and add an area 2D like so. And then I just want to go ahead and rename this area 2D to, in this case, I'm just going to rename it to power up, but you can name it whatever you want. Then, with, uh, as a child of the power-up, we're going to go ahead and add a sprite. And as another child, we're going to go ahead and add a collision shape to the. Then, with the sprite selected, I want to go over to the inspector. And then, I'm just going to click and drag my sprite into the texture field. In this case, it's a sprite sheet, uh, as you can see here. And since I am using a sprite sheet, then I want to actually turn on region. So, enable region, like so. And then, down below click on texture region and then i want to make sure that my grid snap is on so you can turn it on by clicking here and enabling it and then you can just click and drag and make a selection to select the sprite that you want to show and that looks good to me so this should work so and you just want to enable region if you have a texture sprite but if you just have a sprite then you don't need to anyway let's define our collision shape in this case we're going to add a new rectangle shape to d that should work well enough in this case it doesn't have to be perfect so i'm just eyeballing it like so so yeah that, that should work just fine so that pretty much does it for the setup of the power up now we can just simply save it so i'm just saving it in a new folder called power ups and yeah that's fine and then i'm just following the naming convention where everything's store case essentially anyway uh, let's add our script to our power up so let's just uh, make sure it's an empty script and click create and then we pretty much just want to select our power up go over to the inspector node and then we're going to be using a buddy entered signal you could also use an area entered signal but in this case i'm going to be using buddy entered and that's because if i go to my player i don't actually have an area 2d so that's why we're using buddy entered in this case so connect a buddy entered signal to the power up and that should create this function here and then all we want to do inside this function is we simply want to do q free and this will essentially delete our power up when the player uh, touches it so uh, with that i do also want to do another thing and this is to actually get the enemies to die essentially so in the enemy you want to have your enemy selected and then go over to node and then you right now i'm in signal so i want to actually go to groups and as you can see it's already in a group called enemy so i'm actually gonna remove it from that group by clicking the garbage can and then i can just define the name of the group and then click add and that's how you add your enemy to a group now with that done i can actually go into my enemy script and as you can see i already have a function die and that's what we're gonna call uh, from our power up so pretty much the only line that matters is the q free you don't actually need these other lines of code that's just extra so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and comment that out and with this you should actually pretty much almost be done so the last thing we want to do is in our power up script we want to add this line of code here so we just simply want to go ahead and do git underscore tree dot and then call group and then we have to specify the name of the group so we call that enemy and then the method we want to call on the enemy so we want to call the die uh, function uh, from our enemy so that's pretty much actually all you need like i said we are calling this function die from our power up by using the cog group so now if we actually go ahead and test all of this out uh, let me just make sure that I actually set up my power up it to be in the right collision layer here. So go over to the inspector, click, click on the collision drop down, and then for layer, uh, just set it uh, to not be on any layer. So we're not going to have it be on any layer, but for the mask, we only want it to mask for the player. So go ahead and turn on the mask for your player layer. 
So uh, that should actually do it. So if you don't actually know how to set up the collision layers there, you just have to go to project, project settings, scroll down, and then there's an option called 2D physics, and then there's also 3D physics, 3D is for a 3D game, and then you just define the names there for the layer. So now if we actually test it out, and actually before I do that, I almost forgot, let's delete the old power up and then instant send the new power up we just made. So let's just move it into place. That looks fine. And now if we actually go ahead and test it and we wait for the enemies to actually show on screen and we go ahead and collect the power up, as you can see, the power up and the enemies get destroyed. So it's actually already working. So that's pretty much all you actually need to get your power up to work. Now, I, like I said, I do have a little bit of extra things here. So as you can see, I have an effect, which is just a particle and then as an animation player. I'm not gonna be showing you how to set up all of the particle here. You can just mess around with the settings here. Uh, that's pretty much what I did. And then for the animation player, I just have an animation. So if I actually go and select the animation and it's just called effect, it basically just emits the particle and then when the animation is finished, it will queue free the particle. So the only option that actually matters for the particle or our effect is if we select it and uh, we want to make sure that it's actually set to one shot so that way it only plays once otherwise if we don't have that on and we have emitting it will just continue to emit so we just want to we just want to make sure that one shot is on so with that if we go to our enemy group and we go in, well, into our enemy and into the enemy script and I uncomment that code as you can see at the top I am preloading the explosion scene basically and then with this line of code I'm instancing the explosion at the enemy location and the world. So now if I actually go ahead and collect the power up when the enemies are on screen, it should actually spawn the explosion effect where the enemies were. So with that, we're actually done. So uh, hopefully you liked the video and yeah, that was our first video of the year. I have a lot more plans for more videos and I will probably be releasing a video with some, uh, some channel updates in the near future. So look forward to that. Anyway, with all that said, if you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, have a good one.